CSS layout fundamentals MIMO app relative positioning let's learn how to position elements relative to their original position in the web page below an emphasized element containing jumped is 30 pixels above its original position is a sentence it jumps it jumped to conclusions we can change the position of elements using the position property when we set position to relative we change an element's position in relation through its original position in normal flow relative we can push the element 30 pixel from the top of its original position by coding top 30 pixels besides top we can use right bottom and left properties to place elements exactly where we want so top right left left 60, 60 pixels Coding left 30 pixel means we push element 30 pixels away from the left of its normal position. See the gap in the paragraph. See the gap in the paragraph relative. The relative positioning doesn't change the normal flow. Other elements act like it's still there. What does the position property do? Do it change the size of elements? It change the position of elements. What does position relative do? It change an element's position in relation to its original position. What happens when you set top thirty pixels? The element is pushed thirty pixels away from the top of his original position what happens if we don't add the top left right and bottom properties The element doesn't move what happens when an element has position set to relative over element straight it like is still there in its original position in normal flow set the position property to relative relative so relative relative place the strong element 60 pixels lower than its original position top 60 pixels move the image of class silver by adding the missing property positions element 50 pixels away from the left side by coding the correct property
mission complete. So, absolute position, Z, Z index, so absolute position. Let's learn, let's learn how to position elements based on the edges of the web page. For example, the link placed on the right edge of the web page below. To start placing an element at a particular spot on the screen, we set position to absolute. To put the element on the right, we use right zero pixel array from the right, meaning the element is zero pixel away from the right side of the page. We can use top, bottom, right, or left properties for positioning top 30 pixels set the element exactly 30 pixel away from the top of the page. Let's compare relative and absolute positioning. Notice how in a relative position the image is after the link. Setting the link to position absolute. Remove it from the normal flow and cause it to overlap the image instead. Position absolute. Let's see the overlapping. How do we position an element in relation to the sides of a web page? So, with absolute value. <coughs> what does this code display? What does this code display? Position absolute. What happens when you set an element to position absolute? The elements stay in normal stays in normal flow. The element is taken out of normal flow. Set position to absolute. Background color is white. F F F F. Position um, position the image ten pixels away from the right side. So right. Code taupe to place the image 20 pixels away from the top of the page. Cause the property that keeps the image in normal flow position absolute or relative. Ah, it's relative normal flow. Absolute take out the normal flow. Listen complete. So let's do the Z, Z index. Let's learn how to control overlapping elements. We'll start off with an image with heading below it. Set the image width to 300 pixels. Position absolute. We can control how images overlap with a property called Z Z index. Set Z index to zero. It's default default value. Because all elements are their Z index set to zero by default, the browser puts the image in front because it's the first element in the HTML. So. 
to place an element behind an over we set z index to a lower number in this case code minus one any wall numbers work place the image of class logo in front of the other image by setting z index to one Elements with higher Z index number are always in front. Set the first image Z index to 2 to make it overlap the first two images. So, the first photo Z index to. Zero is the default value. What does this code display? The image is behind the headline one any my an image behind the aging aging not in line milky way what does this co display so the image of class logo in front of another image which elements are in front of other elements the, the elements with higher z index number Code the baseline value of Z index zero. So Z index zero default value. Place the image behind the heading by setting Z index to minus one. Place the image of class Nasho on top of any over images. To place the elements of class Nacho in the middle of two over images. So one so we are done for today. Our daily goal was concur concurred. Continue. Let's see the board number 11 and so next lesson will be about the flexbox basics one two three four five five chapters before starting javascript basics i'm very keen and eager to start that so i share with you in the video description the link of the app so invite friends copy have a nice day keep learning i wish you all the best with your coding journey